and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDLE at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's PUDLE back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guide. Today, we got the Monday morning flashbacks and a little Mark Cooper to go over. We are getting a free Amari Cooper from the Superstar KO game mode if you play that enough. So, I will show you guys the stats on the Amari Cooper. Obviously, the flashback stats, the flashback pack price, you know, the usual Monday morning video. So, hopefully, you guys are sort of hyped for this. I mean, as hype as you can get for a Monday morning flashback, guys, I am super tired. I had a long night driving to the airport and doing a bunch of stuff last night. So, I'm a little out of it, guys. So, before you comment that I'm, my throat's dry and I'm tired and all, all the little aesthetical comments you guys like to give me for some reason you guys need to be very focused on my look in the mornings but guys hopefully we can get some interest out of these flashbacks i have seen one one is a little underwhelming i'm still hoping the other one could be decent but i highly doubt it and then i'll go over obviously the amar cooper stats and a little bit of the other stuff i got to talk about in this video guys but before we get into the video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that notify boys we are 10 subscribers away from 12,000 subscribers so I know there's at least 12 new guys here. Come join the family. You won't regret it, boys. Turn on that notification bell also while you're at it. And hopefully we can hit 12K within the first 30 minutes of this video being up. And also, guys, don't forget to run this video up. Guys, I challenge you to get at least 100 likes in the flashback video. You guys have been killing it with the like button. Like, you guys have been murdering the like button. I greatly appreciate all of that. And if you guys could be so kind to start, everyone you're watching right now, all 100, 200 you guys are here right now, hit that like button, boys. It takes a second out of your time, and it greatly helps me out as a channel. The reason I'm growing so fast is because you guys smash the like button and communicate on the video every day. So... Each and every one of you like this video. Hopefully, when I post it, I can have like 30 likes in the first few minutes. So, get that going, guys. And comment down below what you think of these two guys and the Amari Cooper. The Amari Cooper is a pretty decent card. Obviously, it can help a lot of teams, but it can help some teams. I know a lot of budget teams out there are going to probably appreciate this. So, I'm going to go into detail on that. But, guys, first off, the flashback prices in the store. I always like to review the prices to make sure nothing's changed. I don't think anything has changed because it changed recently. But to go over, they are now 3,845 training for this pack so an 88 overall does quick sell for about 2600 training so if you pull an 88 you do actually lose if you pull an 89 you i think also lose or just about break even let's just say and then if you pull a 90 you actually do make but for the most part i don't think it's worth it and actually if you pull a 91 that one's not horrible i don't remember the exact quick sell price of 91s i know that 90s do uh 89s quick sell 88's quick sell for 2600, 89's quick sell for 300, 3000. I believe 90's quick sell for like 4000 something. So the new 91's should be within maybe like a, a 6000, 5000 range. So those could potentially win, but the odds of pull going, pulling those are going to be a lot harder, obviously. So it could be a reroll set. Do I recommend it? Probably not. I mean, I haven't heard anything great. Last year, reroll sets were pretty awesome. This year, I haven't heard too many great things. But guys, let's head over to Twitter to show you guys the first flashback card. All right, guys, so the first flashback card we have is Preston Smith. Right outside linebackers for right outside linebackers, right outside linebacker for the Washington Redskins. He has the bull rush looking archetype, 33 salary cap, 2016 week 10. That's about almost approximately three years ago from today, because this is obviously week 10 that we're in, I believe. And 2016, so three years ago. He's six foot five, so he's actually really tall. Now, his speed's decent. 81 speed is decent, depending on what he's supposed to do. 88 Excel is good, really good actually. 80 strength, 86 tackle, 86 play rec, 77 block shed, 90 power move, and 73 finesse move. Now, power move is great, so he's a good pass rusher with decent speed off the edge, not bad. Block shed's too low, though, so pitches, all outside stretch runs, you're going to get murdered. And with the this is being the this is the meta of the stretch right now, so you're going to get absolutely murdered when people stretch to the outside because you're not going to be able to block shit off the, the newer lineman. He's going to be a decent pass rusher now. The only way I could justify this card is if he had a good zone, like a good zone coverage. With 81 speed, 88 cell, and 6 foot 5 height, you might actually be able to justify this card. I can't guarantee that he even has a decent zone. He appears to be more of a mid, like a mildly athletic pass rusher. But that 77 block shot is killer, and the play rec too. Obviously, powered up and camped up if you can even power him up. I don't know if he does have a power up card. If you could though, even then he'd still be decent. His play rec might just make it. But I don't see this card as that great. As per usual, they flash back to when these cards were good, and somehow they don't look any better than what they would look like today. I'm not a fan of this card, quite honestly. Like I said, zone would save it because he's six foot five, so decent zone actually pretty awesome. And then in that case, I probably want him. But I doubt he has a good zone. He probably has like a 70 to 60 overall zone. And with that, he can't run block. I mean, he can't um, run stuff. He can only kind of pass rush, and even then, he's only decent at that. I'd probably rather stick with my Von Miller for the time being, or my Lawrence Taylor, either or. You know, depending on where you put them on. 
that's just my personal opinion on Preston Smith. Now, the next one is going to be Jameis Winston. We're going to head over there, but I mean, how exciting can we get for a Jameis Winston card? I'm going to show you guys his stats, and then obviously the Amari Cooper. And now for the Jameis Winston card, guys, obviously, I mean, I didn't have the highest expectations for this card, and honestly, it's looking a little bit better than I honestly thought it would be. 91 Jameis Winston, flashback to 2015. I could be wrong. I don't want to say that's his, is that his rookie year? I feel like that was his rookie year if I'm, if I stand, I don't know if I stand corrected, let me know, but I feel like that was his rookie year, right, because 2014 was Odell, I think 2015 was Mariota and Jameis, I don't know, you guys can let me know down below, you know, all you Bucks and Titans fans. Now, he's 6'4", really tall quarterback, 78 speed, honestly not horrible speed for Winston, 89 throw power, so obviously, chemmed up, he could have a, he could have a 90 throw power, 91 throw accuracy short, again, chemmed up, could hit a 90 accuracy mid, 86 accuracy deep. 89 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 88 play action. Guys, if he's if you could power him up and you could really get him up there, I don't know. Does he have power? I'm pretty sure he does. Is he an elite quarterback? If you guys can power him up, he could have an above 90 throw power, above 90 throw short, above 90 throw mid, close to 90 throw deep with go deep and powered up. Above 90 throw under pressure. And with John Madden passing and everything, this card could hit all above 90 stats with like a 79 speed. This card is not bad. Honestly, not a horrible card. Obviously, it takes a good amount to get him that great. But for all you Bucks theme team guys, if you guys are alive somewhere, honestly, not horrible. Now, would I personally pick him up? Probably not because I'd rather have like a Steve Young or something. But for the time being, it's not a horrible look for a Winston card. Honestly, I thought it'd be worse. For the first time, they actually gave a flashback card decent usable stats. Like if you guys are Winston fans, obviously. I don't imagine there's many of you guys. But obviously not not that bad considering i would have expected worse from EA. i'll get i'll give him this for the i like how the first good flashback they kind of give us it's a Jameis winston like a card that no one's gonna really want but the card stats were not bad i wish all the other cards would actually match stats like this like not joking if you power him up this card could be one of the better pocket passers in the game if you had the, imagine you had the 82 speed threshold too this card would be one of the better quarterbacks in the game you know in general honestly not bad i give props to EA on this one guys now let's see if we can go find the cooper stats all right guys so to get this mark cooper obviously it's a superstar ko version so you have to go actually play superstar ko to get him it is not too hard the objective i was just reading it is really really easy you guys should have no trouble getting this done pretty fast probably no more than like an hour worth of playing not even depending on how quickly i mean the games go quickly i mean honestly it can go even quicker than that depending on how good you are I'm, I honestly think it's a great idea to go ahead and pick this up because a lot of guys if you guys like my budget videos And you guys are all no money spent. I don't see why an 85 overall Amari Cooper wouldn't help you It's Mutt player item not 85 overall Amari Cooper. You have six days to get a thousand receiving yards It's really not that hard that could take you an hour literally these games go super fast super quick long play touchdowns Double me really glitchy abilities activated at all time shouldn't take you that long at all quite honestly Now like I said, we don't know a stat yet, but knowing Amari Cooper he probably has pretty good route running Pretty good speed. Now, it is an 85 overall, so we have to temper our expectations a little bit. Maybe like an 85, 86 speed, 84 route running. Going to be a pretty good budget card, and he's free. So, like, why not pick him up, get him on the squad, throw him in there, toss a chem on him maybe, if you can put chems on them. I just think it's a great idea to go ahead and get it. I did pick up the Odell earlier in the year. Obviously, Odell with 82 was too, too low to use, but even guys just starting Mutt right now, like, that's a good card to get right away. I think this helps a lot of teams. Because you have to remember that I think a lot of my audience might not exactly be... Not a lot of you guys probably open packs, probably not a lot of you guys spend money that much a lot of you guys are new to the game younger don't have money to spend on packs so i feel like this could potentially help you guys if at some point i can see these stats where this video is out i will post them here next but guess we gotta wait and see yeah so i couldn't seem to find the cooper stats he's obviously not gonna be up yet he's not auctionable and he's not a mudhead mudhead has really been slacking lately with stats i'm gonna get this video out for you guys but obviously like i said you can imagine cooper will have pretty good route running decent speed he's the 85 overall though so you can't expect the great the greatness but for a budget team could be a pretty solid card especially for free save the coins put it somewhere elsewhere uh, put it elsewhere and amari cooper is a pretty great receiver in real life One fan favorite a lot of people like him so i can't imagine that you guys really complain about that hopefully you guys can pick him up a thousand receiving yards like i said if you play uh superstar ko and you get let's say 50 to 70 receiving yards per game if you don't run too much you just go the, uh, the pass heavy like dot city you could probably get that done in a little under 12 13 games and that's like me expecting that you guys even get a lot more yards than that and that's not bad 12 13 games of superstar ko take no longer than 40 to an hour those games go super quick so hopefully you guys can go pick that up guys hopefully you enjoy the monday morning content if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up like i said guys can we get over 100 likes on a flashback content video guys make sure you're running up the like button right now like i said best feeling always show support i love seeing the like button get run up where i when i post the video so hopefully you guys can come out all you guys who come here every day i appreciate each and every one you especially like the content videos you guys are the loyals the ones that pull up for every video and i appreciate each and every one of you that always show support it's what helps the channel grow guys and hopefully this video will push us over 12k so let's, let's celebrate to that boys the, the victory today we hit 12k hopefully and guys that's about it for the video so comment down below what you thought of the 
James Winston, the Preston Smith, and what you think of this Amari Cooper. Honestly, I think Winston actually was not bad. I think he was okay. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you can have two more videos for you guys today coming out. I don't know which ones I'm doing yet, but you guys will see those in due time. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.